Hello there everyone and welcome to the Build a Flower Indian Lotus Layering Guide video. So to start with, I am going to be stamping the outline for that beautiful lotus flower that we do have on the stamp set. And I'm just going to be using my obsidian black ink for this, but you could use whichever black ink that you do feel comfortable with. I'm then going to take the base layer for the flower, and this is just going to fit directly within that outline that we've just stamped. For this one, I am going to be using the baby pink ink so we can have a beautifully pink flower, but you can definitely play around with the color choices that you do use here. So I'm just going to pop that back into place again, making sure that this full image is all the way inside of that outline that we have already stamped at the bottom. So once that has been stamped, we can then move on to the second color layer. And again, this one is going to fit directly within that outline. I'm kind of just lining up the tips of the petals for this one. So for this layer, I am going to be stamping that using the Fuchsia ink, a really bright, bold pink for this one. Again, I'm just going to add that all over that image that we have, pop that back into place. And as I said, I am lining up the tips of all of these petals, just making sure that it's all within that outline. The rest of it will take care of itself. So I'm then going to take the last detail layer for this one and again I'm just lining up those tips of those petals there and this is going to add some really great details to that image. For this one I am going to be using the magenta ink but again you can really play around with your color choices with this one. You don't have to use the inks that I am using here. Just going to pop that into place making sure that it's all within the outline and all of those little tips of the petals are touching each other. So once I have done that, I'm then going to move on to the flower. So this is the flower center and this is the larger piece of the flower center and it's just going to fit in where that piece hasn't been stamped on the flower. So I'm going to be using the sunray ink and I'm just going to ink that up and pop that into place. And we do have another part for this little center here and it's just going to line up along that left hand edge of the petal there. And for this one, I'm going to be using the snapdragon ink. Once that's done, I'm going to move on to the leaf that we have here, or it can be a lily pad, completely up to you. I'm going with the outline and I'm just going to stamp that in with some obsidian. For this one, I'm going to line up that little notch that we have there. I do find that that's the easiest place to line this up and then everything else around the outline will fit into place. I will be using the grass field to ink this one up. So I'm just going to make sure that this is nicely covered before I do stamp this down. So again, I'm just lining up that notch first and then just kind of rotating it just to make sure that everything is in within the outline. Once that's been done, I can then move on to the second layer. Again, I'm going to line up that notch that we have at the bottom or the top, wherever you want it to be on your leaf. And again, making sure that everything is going to be in within that outline. For this one, I'm going to be using the Mountain Pine Ink, a really beautiful dark forest green color. So again, I'm just lining up with that notch first and then making sure that everything else is within the outline. So that is all of the layered elements complete. I really do hope that this video helps you and thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.